The South Portland Police Department is now offering a free online crime mapping program. Raids Online connects law enforcement with the public by letting them view current information on local criminal activity. Tom talked with Lieutenant Frank Clark about how this new service works. Thanks for joining us again, Frank, for about to talk more about the exciting things happening at the South Portland Police Department. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. So um, we're here to talk about this online mapping that's available for South Portland. Could you describe it a little bit? Yeah, a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago we um, just released it to the public. What it is is we've partnered with a company called Bear, Anal Bear Analytics. Uh, they offer this uh, online web-based application uh, called RAIDS Online. And it's a, uh, if I can editorialize from it, it's a really cool tool for the public to use. It, uh, it, it's, it really will allow the public the opportunity to get online and in a map, kind of a visual uh, depiction, it will show them where the crime is happening in the city. If they're uh, really interested in their specific neighborhood and where the crime is happening there, they can narrow it in and zero in on that particular area. Um, and again, it really gets the information out to the public, which is... Uh, you know, I think where that needs to be. Well, how does that, uh, does that help in the enforcement of, of law and in doing your job? Yeah, I, I think what we're, uh, what we're hopeful to see is that uh, the public having that awareness of where the crime's happening, if they know that there's a series of, of residential burglaries in their neighborhood, uh, car breaks that may be happening, that they're going to be more aware, they're going to be more vigilant, and hopefully they're going to be more apt to call the police department if, if they see something suspicious going on in the neighborhood. So we, we do uh, anticipate this being uh, something that, uh, another way for us to partner with the community to, to make sure we can kind of hopefully reduce crime. How did this come about? Have you seen this happen or has somebody looked at this in other communities and seen what happened, the results of it? Yeah, there have been, I believe there's uh, six communities in the state of Maine so far that have uh, partnered with uh, RAIDS. And, uh, and offer that service. I um, spoke with people in those other communities and, and they have found it to be a benefit. Um, the other thing that the actual application does that is beneficial for the residents is it will email them uh, information, whether it's they can set it up to do it daily, weekly, or monthly. So if, if they live at a particular address, they type in their home address, maybe it's their business address, they can put that information in. And if there's crime reports that are being taken within a certain uh, distance from that address, the system will actually email them the information on that report. Wow, that's, that's pretty incredible. I, I just, my first impression in hearing about it is, uh, in one way, it's really good to have that information out there and available to the general public, but isn't there any fear or worry that people might become overly worried about seeing where the crime is and how much crime is actually happening? And, and there are some trade-offs. I mean, part of that is is the information is limited. The information that you get when you look at that is the date and time that the crime report was taken, the nature of the crime report, whether it's a, a theft or a, a, a burglary, something along those lines. The um, fact of the matter is, South Portland is a very safe community. Um, we just feel that the information that will be provided with it by this application will uh, be more of a benefit to the community than a, than a hindrance. The other thing that we did take into account during this is there are certain crime types that we do not upload a report to raise online, such as sex crimes and, and things of that nature, where the, uh, and the other thing that the, that the application does is it doesn't give a specific address of where a particular crime is. So again, it, it, we're trying to maintain the anonymity of the victims that are, that are reporting these crimes too. Right, and then also there are reports of crimes that are not actually adjudicated and convicted so it doesn't necessarily mean that those crimes actually necessarily took place or that you know who the perpetrator is. Is that correct? Yeah. Correct. There's no information that relates to who the victim is. If there is a suspect or a person who was arrested, that information is not made uh, available as part of this uh, application. This is just, just what you're saying. It's just the fact that a report of a crime was taken at that particular date and time. And have you had any feedback so far from the general public on this? Uh, what, what's been the response, or is it too early to tell? It's probably too early. I, d I did get some uh, initial feedback from people that, that took a look at the application when we initially released it to the public, um, thought that it was a really great tool, really something uh, informative. Some of them were actually business people in the city that were looking in to see whether or not they could actually bring that into their communities where they live outside of the city. So 
um, we're looking forward to what it's uh, what it may bring. Yeah, it's a, it's a great uh, another example of how technology can be used to really enhance people's lives and especially the operations of the sure. government body. Well, uh, if people wanted more information about this, obviously all of it's online and anybody can access it. But could you just give where people can get that information? And get yeah, it? yeah. Um, either at Raids Online, uh, which is www.raidsonline.com, and Raids is R-A-I-D-S. Or on, right on our website, we have a link to it. And our website is www.cellportland.org slash pd. Well, great. Thank you very much for joining us. That's a very interesting Appreciate program. It. Thanks.